evaluate what you think Vince would bring to any team that he played for? Oh. Well, I can tell you what he would bring to us. Um, but <laughs> from my perspective. A little on-camera recruiting here, which is legal. This we is are not tampering. It's not tampering. He's, He's a free agent. He's good. Go. Get, get, get your pitch. Get your pitch. So our big, thing, our big thing with Vince, and I think this is true of all veterans, and you've experienced this now for several years in yes. a row, when you go into a situation with other young players, the most important thing for you as a leader is that you're playing significant minutes. Mm -hmm. And because you're capable of doing that, the fit for him is find the team where he can do that. Mm -hmm. I hope we're that team in terms of Ooh. the one you're drawn to, but in terms of knowing we have the minutes, in fairness, I don't know that I can say that. Right. So it's, it's a really interesting situation for us because everything that you represent is what we're trying to build our team around. Right. All right, but we've talked about it for the last couple of days on this show. He plays at such a high level, someone 10 years, 15 years younger than him, we want to see you play. We yeah. want to see you in a place you're getting those well, minutes. Well, if you've got an 18 or 19-year-old kid in the locker room, mm -hmm. they grew up idolizing him. Absolutely. So it's something where the fact that he's still playing at a high level and takes care of his body the way he does, yes. it speaks to kids in a way that a lot of guys don't. Absolutely. All right, so when David sat down, he asked me, he said, do you guys have a, what were you thinking for me? Do I need to be ready for everything? What did you say? And I said we don't have a formal one, but we kind of have an informal one. Of course you do. <laughs> because your reaction, Griff, during Friday's earthquake was caught live on camera. I think you handled it very well, but please tell us, <laughs> what were you thinking? I thought literally the sky was falling, <laughs> frankly. Um, what had happened the day before, literally the previous morning, we had felt a quake as well. Right. And we were in our film session in a conference room, and I was leaning against the room divider, and I looked back and it looked like a wave. Right. The chandeliers started swinging and light bulbs started falling out, so we literally had to get up and run out of the conference room. <laughs> so I was looking up to see which part of the fixtures here were right. going to stay up. Right, and it was, you know, the scoreboard was swinging. The speakers around it were swinging. Now, Paul right. is an L.A. native. I, I'm no stranger to earthquakes. Right. It's been, it's been a while, though. It's been, right. it's been some years since I've been a, in, a, in a significant earthquake. So, uh, you know, when it was going on, I was like, there it is. Spoiler alert, <laughs> spoiler alert here. You're also a hell of a lot tougher than I am. Right. So. <laughs> well, there you go. David, thank you so much for joining us. We now know you're a savvy GM and a veteran of any geo, anything that happens geologically, you can handle it. I can handle it. So. You know, Trajan Langdon was sitting next to me and he didn't flinch. Swin yes. Cash was on the other side, she didn't flinch. So we hired the right people to prop me up. Exactly. I know that. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that could have been said even before the earthquake. Let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.